Hi, I'm Rachel Rose. Welcome to my video. Um, I've become a rep for Hairs Emporium. I've, I've done lots of videos on their boxes before, but now I'm being sent them to, to review, which is great. <laughs> um, so this is the Year in Trees. Um, which you can subscribe to through Hairs Emporium website. I'll leave all the details in the description for this video. Um, so this month is you. Um, that's one of my favourite trees. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's get in here. Oh, welcome to the you box. It contains a bundle of you sticks, a jar of dried you, a home altar protection jar, you rosemary bone bone set and hawthorn berries. I have charged it for protection, but you may like to change that protection to be bespoke to your home. Oh, that's really cool. I love this. <laughs> that would make an amazing tattoo. <laughs> ah, so you is poisonous. Um, you is incredibly poisonous, so please make sure to handle it with care. The toxin, taxin, can be found in the leaves, bark, wood, and seeds of the yew, even after the tree after the tree has died. Keep all the yew sticks, leaves, and other parts of it well away from children and pets, or anyone else likely to chew on it. <laughs> you also need to be careful should you ever decide to sand yew wood. A respirator and gloves are highly recommended, along with long sleeves and washing well, including clothing afterwards. I never thought about that. If you decide to carve your rune sticks, please wear gloves whilst doing this. It is also advisable to avoid grinding or burning the sticks or leaves. Please be careful. Yeah, I know that um, the flesh around the, the berries isn't poisonous but the the seed in the middle is very poisonous um yeah don't eat them because i said that though i take no responsibility if you do <laughs> um okay the yew is one of the longest lived native species in europe it is a member of the taxacae family and is a densely branched evergreen tree it can grow up to 20 metres tall and some trees are thought to be over 2,000 years old. Every part of the yew tree is poisonous except the white flesh in the aril, which, yeah, the berry. Um, the leaves are dark green needles, leathery to the touch and narrow with a pointed tip. The bark is thin, scaly and brown. Yew, sh yew seeds grow at the top of the door of a dwarf shoot and are uh, enclosed in a red fleshy cup-like structure called an aril. So correspondences Artemis Astarte Bandaba Dion Hecate Odin Persephone the crone aspect guardian of the underworld elements of earth and water Ogum it's pronounced Iaho or Ayaho, um, planet Saturn and Pluto, Sabbath, winter solstice, symbolism, connecting with ancestors, the dead, divination, dreams, immortality, protection, psychic abilities, spirit work, rebirth and regeneration. Magical uses. You can be used to make wands and dowsing rods, using spells related to the dead and the underworld. Carve yew sticks with ogham for divination. Use yew in spells for longevity and rebirth. Oh, there's even more. There, I'll let you pause and read that rather than uh, me prattle on. <laughs> yeah, um, also it mentions Yggdrasil, which is the tree of life in Nordic mythology. Yeah, cool. Oh, let's get in here. <laughs> So, I love how this is um, biodegradable and really good for um, our fire pit, for starting a fire as well. So. <laughs> oh, cool, look. So, some yew twigs. Oh, they're very green, aren't they? Oh, I think they've got um, 
some green from something growing on them actually. There's a gorgeous woods um, called Kingly Vale, which is full of beautiful old yew trees. That's really, I like that. They, they would make good um, ogham sticks or rune staves. Ooh, wow, look how green it's stayed. That's really surprising. I would have thought it would go all brown. Fabulous. Wow, look at this. Ah! Whoops. Okay, I think that got knocked a bit in the post. That's really cool. So that's a protection jar. I might give that to my neighbour because they're quite worried about safety at the moment. So, yeah, that's super cool. Super cool. <laughs> And all of that can be kindling. Yeah, um, I've also I've actually got a bonsai yew tree that I want to show you. Look at this guy. Isn't that cool? I couldn't resist it. I'd never seen. It's an English yew as well. It's um, not a Japanese one. Um, I got it from. Uh, I stayed in a place called Cascade Gardens in Clatterway, in Bonsall, near Derbyshire. And um, there's meditation gardens and um, lots of hellebore plants. And the guy there, Alan, um, bonsais lots of different kinds of trees that I'd never seen bonsai before. Um, so I'll, I'll put a link to his website and his um, YouTube channel as well in the um, description. But yeah, so you is very much connected with the dead, um, partly because and renewal and rebirth, partly because often you'll see dead parts of a yew tree, but there's still living parts as well, kind of together, and oh, it's stunning. They're often found in old, very old graveyards because they're sacred trees. And then um, when Christianity came over to the to Britain, they kind of they built churches where there were already sacred spaces. So that's where you find yew trees in graveyards. Um, yeah, this is I love this. Um, yeah, I would definitely subscribe to this if I hadn't already been sent it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, Thank you for watching. I'll leave all the details for Hare's Emporium in the details <laughs> in the description for the video. Um, and you can use my special discount to get 10% off any orders. Um, yeah, I'll pop that in the description as well and probably put it up here for you to, to see. Um, yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.